radiologists are indispensable to the operation of our medical system, but who are they and what do they actually do? Dr Sally Roberts is a microbiologist at a major New Zealand hospital. Well, microbiology really is the study of uh, microorganisms, bacteria, uh, viruses, fungi, yeasts and parasites that cause infection. See the round lumps are fruit in the body? Or? We probably have the widest variety of specimens sent to us throughout the entire laboratory. We sort of get secretions, excretions, blood um, specimens from all different sites. Microbiologist uh, has several roles in the organisation. One is to do with patient day-to-day -day care and the other is around risk management which is a bigger organisational wide um, involvement in the pulmonary embolus has come on the, over the weekend. Right. So when we're looking after patients, we liaise with clinicians and give them advice on what is the best specimen to collect uh, and uh, what, how it should be sent to the laboratory. And then when it reaches the laboratory, we work with the laboratory scientists to determine how we culture these specimens, uh, what are the likely pathogens, whether they're bacteria, uh, viruses, moulds or yeasts. Uh, or parasites that may be causing the infection. We have a wide range of um, pathogens that cause disease and we have to know about them all. We work very closely with public health around um, helping diagnose people with notifiable infectious diseases. So that's the um, organisms that cause gastroenteritis like Campylobacter, Salmonella, Shigella, uh, and some of the um, toxigenic E. coli strains. Uh, we also uh, look at other organisms like vancomycin resistant enterococci um, and more recently multiple drug resistant um, mycobacterium tuberculosis. Do you know the source? Hand hygiene is very important. However, most healthcare workers are not uh, good at it. So now we're introducing alcohol based hand rubs at the point of care at the end of every bed and when they come to see a patient, we want them to use the alcohol hand gel before they examine them. When they finish examining the patient, use it again before they go on to the next patient. So we're rolling out nationally an education program that's around culture change. Dr Roberts began her medical career as a lab scientist. She then spent six years doing a medical degree, two years as an intern, and then five years for physician's training. This was followed by another four years for her to gain her fellowship in the College of Pathologists. We do play a vital role. We have a very good working relationship with public um, health services to maintain um, good communication because that's what you need. Uh, I, I think one of our probably key roles in 2009 was being in there from the very start with the pandemic influenza. Um, New Zealand was uh, right there at the start. We had a group of school children who came back from three weeks in Mexico. Um, they arrived at 5 a.m. on the Saturday morning and by the Tuesday evening we confirmed that we actually had um, pandemic influenza H1N1 in New Zealand. Uh, and it was a um, superb uh, interaction with public health around it. And while Dr Roberts is a microbiologist, pathologists in general play a much wider role than just diagnosing disease. They're actually involved in diagnosing more than 70% of disease and work across a range of different specialities. These include anatomical pathology, the study of disease through tissue, forensic pathology which seeks to investigate and define the cause of unexpected death, Genetics, which looks at chromosomes and DNA from cells to diagnose genetic diseases. Hematology, which deals with diseases which affect the blood such as anemia, leukemia, lymphoma and clotting or bleeding disorders. Immunopathology, which looks at allergic reactions, autoimmune disorders such as diabetes, rheumatoid arthritis and thyroid conditions. Chemical pathology, which deals with the entire range of disease and encompasses detecting changes in a number of substances in blood and body fluids, such as electrolytes, enzymes and proteins. And general pathology, which covers the profession as a whole. I love my job. It's um, 
uh, fun. I work with a great group of people, um, the laboratory scientists downstairs are, are enthusiastic about their job, they have a very high standard. There's a great diversity of work we do here, unlike a lot of other laboratories, where we have national reference centres, but we also provide a full range of services.